Welcome to the Moore Realtors Weekly St. Louis Real Estate Market Update. I'm Dennis Norman, one of the brokers at Moore, and if you'll give me a few minutes of your time, I'll bring you up to date on what's happening in the St. Louis housing market. Let's jump right into the real estate news. Here are a few of the headlines this week from St. Louis's best local source of news and information on the St. Louis real estate market. That is stlouisrealestatenews.com. An article about baby boomers uh, helping their kids buy homes and their grandkids, in fact. Uh, by supplying uh, some down payment money, an article from a local mortgage banker with a interest rate update, as well as information on the new home ro home loan rules, and uh, kind of walking you through those, uh, letting you know that even though it's tougher to get a mortgage, it's nothing to be afraid of. Uh, and then two uh, positive articles this week on the market, uh, one on uh, home sales jumping in October to the highest level in 18 months, and one uh, showing that uh, fewer St. Louis homeowners are underwater on their mortgages. Again, you can get this and a whole lot more at stlouisrealestatenews.com. Now let's jump into the market data. The, uh, the first uh, uh, three slides I'm going to show here uh, are real-time market data from this week based upon the entire St. Louis metropolitan area. So the entire St. Louis MSA, including uh, a few counties on the metro east side, we can see here that for the uh, week, median home price was $180,235. Uh, median asking price per foot, $97. Average days on market. So the average listing in the St. Louis metro area has been on the market uh, over six months, 186 days. And there's uh, quite a bit of other information there. We'll go on down here to the market action index. Uh, this is something that uh, uh, you won't find anywhere else. Uh, the market action index takes into account uh, the uh, new listings on the market, uh, sold homes, the uh, overall number of listings on the market, uh, the sales activity, price to listing price ratio, lots of things, and then puts a, uh, a market action index on it. If this number was a 30, it'd be a perfectly balanced market, uh, not favoring buyers or sellers. As it goes above a 30, up to a maximum of 60, it is a hot market, a seller's market. As it goes below 30, down to a low of six, uh, zero, it's cold, it's a buyer's market. Uh, this week it's up a little bit to 16. We can see here, uh, since the market action index's inception back in uh, late 08, uh, when it was about 16, we're just about back to uh, that same level again. So, uh, actually, the St. Louis market is looking healthier than it's looked in, in quite a while here, so that's encouraging. And uh, this slide here, again, for the St. Louis metropolitan area, shows the uh, median price trend for the last year. The orange line is uh, more of a long-term look here. It's a 90-day average of the home prices. We can see it dip to a low back here in the winter. Uh, down about uh, 172 uh, five mark, up to a high of 184 in late summer, and now has been trending downward uh, somewhere around that 181 range. Now again, this is for the entire St. Louis metropolitan area, and this is based upon list prices. And the black line is a seven-day average, so it's a little more, it's jagged, it's, it's quicker to show a change in the market. We can see where the past uh, couple of months here it, it did uh, show a uh, an increase for a couple of weeks but then has been uh, steadily going back down so we'll see where that heads now we're going to zoom in on the market and uh, look at what I call the St. Louis five county area uh, this would be uh, St. Louis City, St. Louis County, St. Charles County, Jefferson County, and Franklin County. So the remaining slides on the market that I'm going to show are all based upon data from this five-county area. This first slide shows the number of sales and the average sales price. The blue columns are the number of sales. And we can see for November, it came in a little below October, although since we're just a couple days into uh, December, and the sold data in the MLS lags seven to ten days behind. This is likely to come up by next week, so we'll see where it comes in. Uh, but right now, November's at about 1,900 homes, uh, down from October's uh, 2,000 to uh, about 2,100 homes. And we can see the average price, the green line, uh, kind of balanced out from September, October, and, and shows a slight bit of increase in uh, November, so that's encouraging. Now this slide uh, shows the median uh, home sales prices as well as the median uh, time to sell, the days on market for the homes that did sell. 
and we can see the uh, the yellow line uh, represents median prices. And we can see it uh, it rose and hit a peak uh, back here in July, and then has uh, uh, declined. But we can see here for September, October, November, pretty well flattened out, which in this market is good. I've been saying that I thought the St. Louis housing market had hit a bottom, albeit a rocky bottom. I've been saying that for a while, and that we'd see these fluctuations, but. This is good when we can see it kind of uh, holding a level. And, and back here, the first three months of this year, it was right around this same mark. Uh, these three months, it's, it's about the same. So uh, we're going to see these seasonal changes, like in the summer, when uh, you know, the market might increase. But once again, I think this is just showing that St. Louis has uh, probably bottomed out and at least uh, is somewhere near bottom. The... Um, Red line shows the uh, days on market, the median days on market for the homes that did sell. Uh, that's went from a peak of about 90-something days back here in March down to a low of uh, nearly, well, maybe 65 days uh, during uh, spring and early summer. And, and now is uh, getting back up close to that 80-day mark. Uh, but it looks like for November, it'll probably end up actually closing out around the 74-day mark. Um, so not uh, not too bad there. Uh, this next slide shows the ratio of what uh, of the price homes sold for versus what they were listed for. The yellow line shows that ratio uh, of the sales price compared to the list price at the time of the sale. So after the house had you know had whatever price adjustments along the way, the red line shows the sales price in relation to the original list price. So like I say every week, this slide here is not an indicator of what market value is. This is really a realtor scorecard. This shows how good a job listing agents are doing in educating and informing their sellers so that the homes are hitting the market price uh, appropriately. And we can see overall the job's pretty poor because uh, the red line shows that homes are only selling for uh, about 90, just a little over 90% of what they're originally listed for. Uh, so they're, they're pretty severely overpriced which in this market uh, is just the kiss of death for a seller because home prices are not going up. Again, there are some isolated markets where things would be different than what I'm going to say, but I'm talking in general for the, the metro area. Home prices are not going up. Uh, they're remaining flat at best, and in a lot of cases are still declining somewhat. There's still a lot of foreclosures hitting the market, impacting this. So these sellers that come out on the market overpriced, it's just... Uh, it's really hurting them twice. It's hurting them initially when they hit the market because they're overpriced and there's just too much to choose from, so they're not going to get by the attention of buyer's agents or the buyers. And then, as they said on the market, the, the, the double whammy is is their home is worth less than it was when they put it on the market. So they're, they're kind of chasing their tail. We can see by the time sellers get the prices adjusted, they're ultimately selling for about 96% of what they uh, end up being listed at. But the, the key is, is to come out priced right. And like I harp every week, this is why it's so important that agents have good current market data available to them, that they're coached and trained on how to interpret this data and apply it to your situation if you're a home seller. And that is what we pride ourselves on at More Realtors. Uh, we do have this market data available. We do have the, the tools uh, available to help communicate this to you as a seller or a buyer or an investor because it's just as important to know the market on the buying side too as it is for a seller uh, uh, pricing their house. And so we have these tools available that will really help you as a seller come out on the market priced right and, and ultimately get uh, your home sold at a uh, the price it's going to sell for and in a shorter time period. Uh, let's move on here. Uh, this next slide shows the listing inventory in terms of month's supply of homes on the market for this five-county area. You can see for the past year, during the early winter or beginning of the year, it hit a peak of about 13 months' supply of homes, which is a, a lot. Uh, then it's dropped down and been hovering around eight, and right now we've moved up to about the nine-month mark. So from a historical standpoint, that's a lot of... Uh, homes on the market are a large supply, a nine-month supply, but again, it's better than it's been in the recent past. Uh, this next one, uh, this next slide shows the uh, median list price and median sales prices for the past five years, so from 2006 to 2011, from the peak of the market to where we are now. The, the blue line shows the list prices from a uh, 
peak of about 170 down to uh, about the 140 mark and sales prices from uh, about 156 uh, back in 06 down to a median of about 120 and uh, again there's a fair gap here between the median sales prices and list prices which goes back to what I said before in terms of pricing accurately and finally this is just a, uh, a small look at uh, the, the market data the tools the resources that we have available at more realtors to help you whether you're buying selling or whether you're an investor uh, we really do have the uh, the the tools and resources available plus we have the experience um, uh, experienced professionals available to help you. We have uh, market data available for your subdivision, your municipality. Go to our website at mo-re.com. Uh, it's mo-re.com. You'll see our market reports. You some, can subscribe to uh, market reports and uh, get a weekly update via email. Up here in the upper right hand corner you'll see our newsletter. We've got an electronic newsletter that comes out monthly that would be uh, worth subscribing to. It has uh, 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 helpful tips for buyers, sellers. You can search MLS from there. It's got charts on the, uh, the St. Louis market. A lot of information. You can subscribe to that at our, on our website at mo-re.com or from stlouisrealestatenews.com. There's a subscription box in the upper right hand corner. Uh, this market video update we do weekly. Uh, you can catch it uh, on our uh, podcast from iTunes. Go to the iTunes store, search St. Louis Real Estate Market Update, look for this arch, and you can subscribe to our podcast there. You can also catch us on our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash more realtors. Or you can catch this as well as a lot of other useful and helpful information on our Facebook page at facebook.com slash more realtors. Um, finally, there's myself, uh, Dennis Norman, and my partner, John Williams, and us as well as our, our staff of dedicated uh, real estate professionals are here to help you. Uh, you can contact us through our website at mo-re.com. Call me direct at 314-332-1012 or call John direct at 314-414-4114. And there's the disclaimer in the legal stuff. And there you have it. So until next week, uh, God bless you and I'll see you next week.